Time now for Sid 6-0. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk. Start the clock. Please, here's what's on my mind this morning. When Nazem Kadri left the Maple Leafs in 2019, he was considered a problem. Honestly, after picking up his second postseason suspension, Kadri was labeled as a kid you couldn't trust. And shortly thereafter, was traded to Colorado. What can an undisciplined kid like this possibly do in another market, they said. Well, as they say, revenge is a dish best served when you win the cup and bring it back home. And that's exactly what's going to happen this Saturday in London, Ontario, when Kadri, who just won the cup with the Avs, has his day with Lord Stanley parading it through the city where he was born and played his junior hockey. When Kadri left the Ontario hockey scene three years ago, he was viewed as a liability. But as he prepares to return a conquering hero, he's now a father, a leader, a Stanley Cup champion, and a guy who was willing to do anything to win it all. If only the Toronto Maple Leafs had a guy like that. I think he'd fit in perfectly. Maybe they'll find that guy one day. Luke Fox of Sportsnet does a great job covering the Leafs. And every month is joining us. Luke, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to vision in my mind what that's going to be like for Kadri in London, Ontario on Saturday. What a moment it's going to be for him and the family. Yeah, it's it's pretty incredible, his story. I mean, you mentioned the two times he got suspended in the playoffs with the Maple Leafs, but it happened a third time with the Colorado Correct. Avalanche. And Joe Sackick didn't trade him away. There were rumors that offseason that he may have been moved, but they stuck with him. And after Kadri won the Cup, he spoke about that and spoke about how much the loyalty from the Avs meant to him. Uh, not only did he win, but he came back early from a broken thumb, way too early, had a special glove made to protect the thumb, his thumb was in so much pain that he had to ask a trainer to tie his skates. And then he scores the big overtime winner in game four that, that gives them a massive edge and, and sets up the, the cup victory. And after he won the cup, he was the first person I ran out to on the ice in Tampa just because he's such a great quote for one. But his story, his comeback story is so remarkable. And he was, he was incredibly emotional. And I'm sure it'll be the same this weekend. It's been a busy uh, week or so. He finalized the deal with Calgary, signed a seven-year deal as a free agent. He has his day with the Cup on Saturday. we got about 30 seconds here, Luke. I know Leaf fans are going to see this in their timeline on Saturday, 100%. -hmm. What do you think they'll be thinking? Uh, They'll be thinking he's the one that got away. Um, And if the the Maple Leafs don't, you know, rebound this season with with something spectacular, uh, it could go down as Kyle Dubas' worst trade. I mean, they got Tyson Berry back for him. He played poorly and was gone in a year, uh, and they still have Alexander Kerfoot. And I think the fan base still is reluctant to, to root for Kerfoot in part because they were so attached to Kadri. Um, so this, this one will linger, I think, a little bit. Luke Fox of Sportsnet, a follow on Twitter, does a terrific job following this Leafs team. Never a dull moment. Uh, camp, not that far away. Luke, appreciate it. Take care.